So, I'm back. I'd taken a week off YouTube simply because I was extremely tired. I'd made a lot of videos in the last three months, and you guys really appreciated that, and I've gained a massive amount of subs, but everybody does need a holiday from time to time, so I took a week off just to relax. But I'm back in full force today. And what would a Westie video be without something Battlefield related into it? And that's what I've got for you. Battlefield 4 news. Now the first bit of news I've got for you today is something that I think the whole community is going to rejoice over. Battlefield 4 is going to have a test range. This was confirmed by DICE's Lars Gustafsson during an Ask Me Anything session with IGN and he went on to say the following. We've definitely heard that people are afraid of getting in there and using vehicles like helicopters and that's definitely not our intent. So what we've done is added a test range where you can fly helicopters and jets and bring out the best of your controls and settings. This way you can learn all about the vehicle and have the right settings before you take on the responsibility of flying other people around the battlefield. Now the test range is something that I'm actually really interested in because as you guys know I don't tend to post a lot of vehicle gameplay on my channel and that's because I don't tend to use vehicles especially air vehicles because I'm not very good in them. So the test range is something that I could really see being utilised by myself quite a lot and a lot of the other battlefielders out there as well. Because the amount of times that I've jumped into a transport helicopter as a passenger, been flown halfway across the battlefield and then the driver simply jumps out. I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me, it must have happened to you as well. I find it really infuriating and that's why I don't fly air vehicles because I don't know how to. But the test range could really actually help me to sort of improve my skills and it's something I will be using. Sticking with the air vehicles in mind, another question that was asked to Lars Gustafsson by IGN was why we are still using the Venom that we had from Battlefield 3. Why not change it out to a Blackhawk or something different for the US faction? Why do we have to have the Venom again? And he answered that simply because it's the most up-to-date vehicle that's used by the US Marines. And I can completely understand that. They want to try and make the game as realistic as possible. It's actually set in the future, which means this is the most up-to-date intel we have for the US Marine faction. But that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to change for the other two factions either. They're kept up-to-date as well. Final little bit of news for you. I know I'm a little bit late to the game with this and you've probably already seen it. But... I'm still going to show it to you anyway. A new map was revealed recently for Battlefield 4. If you didn't know, there was a blog post for Battlefield 4 that went up and it showed off some of the features for Commander Mode and it happened to show a new dam map. What's quite interesting is that most of the action seems to be at the base of the dam and there's a nice island in the middle of the lake at the bottom there which is kind of cool and I expect that that's going to be affected by the Levolution here because we pretty much know what's going to happen. The dam's going to come down. But what got me interested is the submarine icon that you can see that's available to the commander in the asset section. That means for this map the commander is going to have access to a submarine. Now at the moment there's no confirmation as to how this is going to be implemented but considering it's in the same list as an M1 Abrams I'm pretty much certain that this thing is going to be plopped onto the battlefield for us to be able to man. That potentially means we could be driving around a submarine on this map in the water area below. But for now, however, I take it with a pinch of salt because, of course, that is all speculation. And uh, But if that were to happen, that would be an absolutely awesome feature. A couple more things I want to talk about before I end this video. I am going to Eurogamer in about three weeks' time. So if anybody else is actually going to Eurogamer in London, I'll be going on Friday and Saturday and I'll be part of the Pixel Enemy press team. So if you do see me around there, just come over and say hi. I'll be pretty much hanging around all the EA stalls that are going to be there. From what I've heard, Titanfall's going to be there, Battlefield 4's going to be there. There's going to be so much stuff as well and I'm really looking forward to it. And there's plenty of other YouTubers I'm going with as well. So if you do see us around there, just come over and say hi. At the moment I am doing my best to sort of negotiate a deal with the people that are going to be there at EA to sort of try and record some Battlefield 4 footage. Nothing's been set in stone yet but I am doing my best. Um, I'm going to try and get some because of course the gameplay that we're seeing at Eurogamer will only be about a week before the beta is due to drop so chances are the sort of build of the game that we could be seeing there is actually going to be representative of what we see in the beta only a week later. 
to sort of tie in with Eurogamer as well, I'm actually coming up to 15,000 subscribers and that's a massive amount. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that subscribed. But I will be doing a Eurogamer vlog with a couple of other YouTubers that are going to be going there. So you will get to see what I look like. Some of you have seen it before but I actually took the vlog down because it wasn't of great quality. So I'm going to be putting up a full 1080p vlog from Eurogamer just to say thank you for 15,000 subs. And just one final thing, I want to talk about one of my YouTube friends, Crafty Cockney. He took about three months off of YouTube. He had a channel before that was absolutely massive and he was going to big heights and it got taken down by some weird Russian hacker who managed to hack his account and close it, I believe. So he restarted his channel and he sort of lost his love for YouTube and actually stopped three months ago. But he's making his return. He's managed to pluck up the courage to start making videos again. So there's some footage in the background of sort of the videos that he kind of makes. He likes to make sort of let's plays of all the latest games that are coming out and he specifically specifically centers around horror games he really seems to like playing those as well and he's absolutely hilarious guys so just go out and check one of his videos there's one in the description there so go and check it out for me and if you do like his videos please go ahead and subscribe because he really will appreciate it tell him Westy sent you but that's the end of this video guys I hope you've enjoyed it ratings and comments are always appreciated but until next time my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video